The 51st United States Congress, referred to by some critics as the Billion Dollar Congress, was a meeting of the legislative branch of the United States federal government, consisting of the United States Senate and the United States House of Representatives. It met in Washington, D.C., from March 4, 1889, to March 4, 1891, during the first two years of the administration of U.S. President Benjamin Harrison. The apportionment of seats in this House of Representatives was based on the Tenth Census of the United States in 1880. Both chambers had a Republican majority. This marked the first time since the 43rd United States Congress that both chambers were controlled by the President's party. <laughs> Major events March 4, 1889, Benjamin Harrison became President of the United States December 29, 1890, Wounded Knee Massacre <laughs> Major legislation It was responsible for a number of pieces of landmark legislation, many of which asserted the authority of the federal government. Emboldened by their success in the elections of 1888, the Republicans enacted virtually their entire platform during their first 303-day session, including a measure that provided American Civil War veterans with generous pensions and expanded the list of eligible recipients to include noncombatants and the children of veterans. Grover Cleveland had vetoed a similar bill in 1887. It was criticized as the Billion Dollar Congresses for its lavish spending and, for this reason it incited drastic reversals in public support that led to Cleveland's re-election in 1892. Other important legislation passed into law by the Congress included the McKinley Tariff, authored by Representative, and future President, William McKinley, the Sherman Antitrust Act, which prohibited business combinations that restricted trade, and the Sherman Silver Purchase Act, which required the U.S. government to mint silver. The last two were concessions to Western farmer interests in exchange for support of the tariff and would become central tenets of the Populist Party later in the decade. They were authored by Senator John Sherman. The 51st Congress was also responsible for passing the Land Revision Act of 1891, which created the National Forests. Harrison authorized America's first forest reserve in Yellowstone, Wyoming, the same year. Other bills were discussed but failed to pass, including two significant pieces of legislation focused on ensuring African Americans the right to vote. Henry Cabot Lodge sponsored a so-called Lodge Bill that would have established federal supervision of congressional elections so as to prevent the disfranchisement of Southern blacks. Henry W. Blair sponsored the Blair Education Bill, which advocated the use of federal aid for education in order to frustrate Southern whites employing literacy tests to prevent blacks from registering to vote. June 27, 1890, Dependent Pension Act July 2, 1890, Sherman Antitrust Act, ch. 647, 26 Stat. 209 July 14, 1890, Sherman Silver Purchase Act, ch. 708, 26 Stat. 289 August 30, 1890, Morrill Land Grant Colleges Act October 1, 1890, McKinley Tariff, ch. 1244, 26 Stat. 567 March 3, 1891, Forest Reserve Act of 1891 March 3, 1891, Land Revision Act of 1891 March 3, 1891, Immigration Act of 1891 March 3, 1891, Merchant Marine Act of 1891 March 3, 1891, International Copyright Act, the Chase Act. Topic: <laughs> States admitted and territories organized. November 2, 1889, North Dakota and South Dakota were admitted as the 39th and 40th states. November 8, 1889, Montana was admitted as the 41st state. November 11, 1889, Washington was admitted as the 42nd state. May 2, 1890, Oklahoma Territory was organized. July 3, 1890, Idaho was admitted as the 43rd state. July 10, 1890, Wyoming was admitted as the 44th state. Topic: Party summary. 
The count below identifies party affiliations at the beginning of this Congress. Changes resulting from subsequent replacements are shown below in the Changes in Membership section. Six new states were admitted during this Congress, and their senators and representatives were elected throughout the Congress. Senate Topic: House of Representatives. Topic: Leadership. Topic: Senate. President: Levi P. Morton, R. President pro tempore, John J. Ingalls R., elected March 7, 1889 Charles F. Manderson R., elected March 2, 1891 Republican Conference Chairman, George F. Edmonds Democratic Caucus Chairman, James B. Beck, until May 3, 1890 Arthur P. Gorman, afterwards <laughs> House of Representatives Speaker, Thomas B. Reed, R. Republican Conference Chair, Thomas J. Henderson Democratic Caucus Chairman, William S. Hallman Democratic Campaign Committee Chairman, James T. Jones Members This list is arranged by chamber, then by state. Senators are listed by class, and representatives are listed by district. Skip to House of Representatives, below. <inaudible> Senate Senators were elected by the state legislatures every two years, with one-third beginning new six-year terms with each Congress. Preceding the names in the list below are Senate class numbers, which indicate the cycle of their election. In this Congress, Class I meant their term began in the last Congress, requiring re-election in 1892, Class II meant their term began in this Congress, requiring re-election in 1894, and Class III meant their term ended in this Congress, requiring re-election in 1890. <laughs> House of Representatives The names of members of the House of Representatives are preceded by their district numbers. Topic: <laughs> Changes in membership. The count below reflects changes from the beginning of the first session of this Congress. Topic: <laughs> Senate Replacements, 3 Democratic, no net change Republican, no net change Liberal Republican, one seat net loss Deaths, 3 Resignations, 2 Interim appointments, 1 Seats of newly admitted states, 12 Total seats with changes, 17 House of Representatives Replacements, 16 Democratic, 2-seat net gain Republican, 2-seat net loss Deaths, 11 Resignations, 6 Contested election, 8 Seats of newly admitted states, 7 Total seats with changes, 33 Committees <laughs> 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 Lists of committees and their party leaders, for members House and Senate of the committees and their assignments, go into the official Congressional Directory at the bottom of the article and click on the link four links, in the directory after the pages of Terms of Service, you will see the committees of the Senate, House standing with subcommittees, Select and Special and Joint and after the committee pages, you will see the House, Senate committee assignments in the directory, on the committees section of the House and Senate in the official Congressional Directory, the committee's members on the first row on the left side show the chairman of the committee and on the right side shows the ranking member of the committee. Topic. 
Topic: Senate. Additional accommodations for the Library of Congress select Agriculture and Forestry Appropriations Audit and control the contingent expenses of the Senate Canadian Relations select Census Civil Service and Retrenchment Claims Coast Defenses Commerce Distributing public revenue among the states select District of Columbia Education and labor Engrossed bills Enrolled bills Epidemic diseases Establish a university in the United States select. Examine the several branches in the civil service Executive department's methods select. Finance Fisheries Five civilized tribes of Indians select. Foreign relations Immigration Immigration and naturalization select. Indian affairs Interstate commerce Irrigation and reclamation of arid lands select. Judiciary Library Manufactures Military affairs Mines and mining Mississippi River and its tributaries select. Naval affairs Nicaraguan claims select. Patents Pensions Post Office and Post Roads Potomac River Front select Printing Private Land Claims Privileges and Elections Public Buildings and Grounds Public Lands Quadrocentennial select Railroads Revision of the Laws Revolutionary Claims Rules Senate Administrative Services select Tariff regulation select Territories Transportation and sale of meat products select Transportation routes to the seaboard Whole Woman suffrage select Topic House of Representatives Accounts Alcoholic liquor traffic select Appropriations Banking and currency Claims Coinage, weights and measures Commerce Disposition of executive papers District of Columbia Education Elections Enrolled bills Expenditures in the Agriculture Department Expenditures in the Interior Department Expenditures in the Justice Department Expenditures in the Navy Department Expenditures in the Post Office Department Expenditures in the State Department Expenditures in the Treasury Department Expenditures in the War Department Expenditures on Public Buildings Foreign Affairs Indian Affairs Invalid Pensions Labor Levies and Improvements of the Mississippi River Manufactures Merchant Marine and Fisheries Mileage Military affairs Militia Mines and mining Naval affairs Pacific railroads Patents Pensions Post office and post roads Public buildings and grounds Public lands Railways and canals Revision of laws Rivers and harbors Rules Standards of official conduct Territories War claims Ways and means Whole Topic. Joint committees Conditions of Indian tribes special. Disposition of useless executive papers Topic. Caucuses Democratic House Democratic Senate Topic Employees Architect of the Capitol Edward Clark Librarian of Congress Ainsworth Rand Spofford Public Printer of the United States Thomas E Benedict until 1889 Frank W 
Palmer starting 1889. Topic: Senate. Chaplain: John G. Butler, Lutheran. Secretary: Anson G. McCook. Sergeant at Arms: William P. Kennedy until June 30, 1890. Edward K. Valentine from June 30, 1890. Topic: House of Representatives. Chaplain William H Milburn Methodist Clerk Edward McPherson Doorkeeper Charles E Adams Postmaster James L Wheat resigned October 1, 1890 James W Hathaway Clerk at the Speaker's Table Nathaniel T Crutchfield Edward F Goodwin Reading Clerks Data Unknown Missing Sergeant at Arms Adoniram J Holmes See also United States elections, 1888 elections leading to this Congress United States presidential election, 1888 United States Senate elections, 1888 and 1889 United States House of Representatives elections, 1888 United States elections, 1890 elections during this Congress, leading to the next Congress United States Senate elections, 1890 United States House of Representatives elections, 1890